Hello everybody and welcome back to Evil Aurora Plays Boulder's Gate 3. I'm your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we took down the Steel Watch Foundry over here, as well as taking out the Stone Lord, also known as Minksk, and recruiting the, uh, the criminal organizations of uh, Baldur's Gate to our side in the coming conflict. Uh, and today we're going to take out Orin. But first, I need to go say hello to Ormelowum and Pelurg. It is pleasurable to see you. Your intervention within the cult's underwater complex was a timely one. Yeah. I am glad my carelessness did not cost the lives of the innocent captives. That you also saved me was unexpected. Well, the story is pretty quick. All right, then. Uh... Oh, it's very hard for you to reward me from the bottom of the ocean, though. A valid hypothesis. One I am glad we do not need to prove. Blurg and I have consulted on the matter of your reward. We first thought to ask the denizens of the Underdark for their aid in fighting the cult. Alas, our influence there remains negligible. Instead, we have selected a series of items from the Society's vaults. Ooh. Given my kind's involvement in creating this evil, it is only right that I do my part in helping you defeat it. Or at least, improving your odds. Uh -huh. Ooh, potions. Fungal bamboozler, wizard's vein oil, sunbeam scroll, and a mentioned doll scroll. Excellent. I'll send that to Will. Uh, I'll also send that to Will, and I'll take the other two. Alright, awesome. Alright. Uh, and so, with that, we are heading for a long rest. And then we are heading to the Temple of Baal. So, once more. Mind flare trying to seduce me. They say that home is where a person can be their truest self <sighs> without guile, uh, without pretense. Uh, uh, you did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And uh, now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. I have no more secrets from you. Wish you did. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Yeah, I don't think so. You have a great impression of a human, but you're not fooling me. Your distrust of me will be your undoing. Yep. Would it make a difference if I let you read my thoughts? No need. You're an expert in mental manipulation. I wouldn't trust anything you show me. I will take that as a yes. Get out of my head. Yeah. 
the Duke Selmé in the Did TV. you like it? The truth. This was the alternative relationship we could have had. Aren't you glad I finessed my methods? But since you insist on thwarting my craft, let us be blunt. You yes. are my puppet. Make no mistake, without me, you have no value. Oh. You will take me to the brain because you have no other choice. And once we are there, you will do exactly what I tell you to. And you would do well to reconsider unlocking your potential. Your puerile attachment to your material form jeopardizes us all. If I must, I will force you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. First chance I get, I'm gonna rip your friggin' head off, my flare. I'll remember that. What a dick. But yeah, the Duke that he was in love with, he was just mind controlling to help him rule the city. Uh, what I did as well is I actually upgraded Shadow Heart to have uh, Mind Flayer abilities, but in honesty, I don't really know that she's going to be overly useful in the in the coming fight. I'm actually going to switch back to Astarian. Because... Hello, my dear. Uh, you want a party? Perhaps if you lost a follower or two. Well, and... Now, what I want to do as well is... This will be done. Lizelle. The Risky Ring. I'm going to give Astarian the Risky Ring. Oh, what have I done? There it is. So he always has advantage on his attack, so he'll always be able to use Sneak Attack. We'll give Lazel that one. Assume nothing. Um, so at the moment she's got the additional Misty Step ability. So we've got three Misty Steps per. Pride of the Gate. But. Action. How delicious. I might actually swap. So now Astarian has the ability to turn himself into mist twice. Once as an action, once as a bonus action, using his uh, vampire form. So he basically has a flight ability. Lizelle has the ability to fly as well as the two misty steps. And then she's got the full kit out for doing the critical damage and paralyzing hits. Um, Defender of the people. Will is just drowning in scrolls. All is ash and meat. So we are now heading to the Undercity. On my way. Uh, first, a long stride at as well. Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. Okay. Moving ahead. I'll give it a shot. I'm going to show my medallion off and tell you so. The rush of ancient whispers fills your mind as you approach the door. It is rife with magic. Old, deathly magic. A new vessel brimming with blood darkens Baal's Hello, door. door. To baptize his days most holy. Do you have proof of your faith to our Lord? Uh, I have an amulet of Baal. Let me pass. An amulet of Baal. Let me pass, door. You hold proof of faith, but to hold and deserve are different. How have you proven yourself in the Dread Lord's eyes? I'm one of Baal's unholy assassins. The truth is heard. And it pleases him. The door will part. Walk in blood. Thank you. What's hiding here? 
Who's Justin? I smell a trap. <sighs> Nothing important is ever easy. Black hole. Got one of them, just trying to get all three, but never mind. Go for the throat. I can catch my breath. Oh, hang on. He's on stop number five. So... Got to hit him at least five times. Hey, there we go. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Never wanted the easy path. Uh, Here we go. Lord uh, of murder shall perish. Alright, that's cool. Even though it's just for the action surge and my uh, ability. Chaos will be sown from their passage. And down here, this is where you find the last piece of someone's left to trap. The last piece of dribbles. Should be the last piece of dribbles. There it is, dribbles head. I know this head belongs to dribbles the clown. Plenty more to find. Shouldn't be difficult. All we got the left now is his proud. hand, which is actually back he at the circus. Oh, I haven't actually got Lazel long striding. Oh, that's right. There's traps. How delicious! Go through here. Ah, hello. Uh, was it? 
Seclaritas fell. Okay. Best butler in the world. All right. Now we're done here. Um. Okay. So equipment-wise, now I gave him the risky ring. I think what I might end up doing is I'll swap the risky ring to Dark Aurora. Swap that out for the, yeah, uh, receiving disadvantage. No, sorry, the, um, I can't be paralyzed and restrained. Um, I might need to go get Shadowheart, actually, because she might have the different spells. Because what I'm figuring is this is going to be a duel. I should be able to buff myself using my allies before I go in. I need the initiative boost because I don't want to be going second in this fight. Uh, what other potions do I have access to? Yes, yeah, so if I drink that after the initiative drops in, I can swap that out just to give myself resistance to everything. This blade board is just uh, slashing, piercing. Yeah, this will give me necrotic fire, everything, which is what I want for this fight. Um, okay, so I've got the risky ring, I've got the ring of regeneration, I've got the gloves, I've got the armor. Um, boot to speed, yes. Let's get going. Having them ha having Orin have disadvantage on his hack rolls against me, very useful. When does the ability to play provide resistance fighting and retaliate against melee attacks? Yep, yeah. alright, cool. Awesome. So that's what we're going to do. So, we're gonna go in there. And we're gonna have Will cast haste on me before the before we go into the fight. And I'll very quickly activate that as well. And then we'll run in. Hopefully it doesn't wind down when the fight begins and will be all set. Alright. Alright. Wretched thing. Pull yourself together. Sacra little of this. Very well. Mr. Fell, I've come at last. Oh master, master, master! You have come home to your royal dwelling. I have. Good to see you, buddy. But why did you exert yourself so getting here? I was waiting to open the door. Lady Orin told me not to let you in. <laughs> but I'd never listen to the pretender to your fetid throne. I went through this whole tribunal when you could have just opened the door. Yeah, I would have told you so, but didn't dream of interrupting when you were enjoying yourself so. No, uh, yeah. Bashing the Hollyford's wormy trunk was a particularly refined deed. Yeah, she was kind of a bitch. So, uh, what have you been doing this whole time? Ha, the temple is all tidied and ready for your worshipful act of mortal combat. Mortal combat! The eye sockets of our graven god's icon are all polished up, ready to glow menacingly as you mm -hmm. bludgeon your sister to death. Excellent. I've restacked every pile of skulls <laughs> and mounted more skeletons on the walls for a cozy ah, touch. Ah, beautiful. Well done. Uh, you've seen Orin? We are unfortunate bunkmates. Uh, yeah. As she refuses to leave your estate. What a bitch. Every day she kills me as I'm trying to beautify the temple for your return. Up to thrice some days. Oh. Being killed by you is... So much more pleasurable, Master. I've no doubt. Well, open the door. A thousand succubi could give me no 
create a delight. Ooh. There's a puddle of blood on the floor as you walk in. <laughs> Careful! Don't slip. Okay. I'm coming. Pave my oh, yeah. path with a pile of blood there. Oh, there go. Build my castle with bones. Actually, does he have anything to buy, I wonder? I didn't actually... Hmm. No. Please, go in, my liege. And take care to watch your step. Thank you. I was thinking about it. There we go. It'd be funny if actually when you walk over this, it always made you slip. <laughs> I expected a temple to murder would be more fun. A little joyous, even. There's no greater pleasure than battle. You face your enemy and conquer them, blade to blade, spell to spell. <laughs> but to take a life unawares is no more to be celebrated than plunging a dagger into a trapped rat. Oh, I actually oh, got. I don't know. I've killed plenty of rats. I celebrate it every time. All right, so I got freedom of movement. Cool. That was the one that I was getting from the ring, so that's cool. That solves that problem. Um, now, survival instinct only lasts for three turns, so I might need to kick that off a bit before the fight begins. Um, right, let me just double check everything, make sure we're all good. A few moments all later. Right. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go to the stairs. I don't think it kicks off unless I start the conversation with Oren. So... Uh... I'm take half damage from all fire and I deal cold damage. Who hits me with a melee attack. Uh, cool. And we're going to turn base mode to make sure we'll. I've got a long road ahead. Alright. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I have something to ask. Hey, Oren. Approaches, scuttling in without the tyrant's rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are a mangled blood brain, thinking father could be refused. Hey, I'm here because Grandpa Saravok told me to kick your Did ass. Did it think it could protect? Did it think it could save? No. Only the blades can offer salvation. Mm, put it down. Uh, you must like butcher Cortex without breaking sweat. No. You make a meaningless offering. It's my blood you must spill. <laughs> Critical. You success. do not lie, underling. It is your blood I am destined to spill. Your death spit will stain these walls, little lamb. Is it Mary who's the little lamb? You still don't remember, do you, bloodkin? Number one. <laughs> How you screamed as my Ooh. knife slit your skull. Damn, I look good. <laughs> your brain juices. Sticky and sweet. Mm. A little hole, big enough for the worm. Your body, a blood sack to feed it. Mm. The favorite of Baal turned mm. meat puppet, strung up by the sinews and plucked by my hands. Oh, you bitch. Straggling memory rises. Day your tyranny should have engulfed this world. It was you who were the first to be enslaved. Oren's smile was the last thing you saw. Her bright blade glinting as she chiseled into your skull. Her 
reckless digging left your mind shattered. She robbed you of your bloody birthright, reduced you to nothing. Nothing but pure heat. And now it burns, yearning for vengeance. Husk, maggot, a ball spawn, slip sliding in filth with these pigs. You don't deserve the Murder Lord's blessing. Uh, she knows to come for he's a slayer, usurper, I will claim the rightful place. We'll see the pa you'll see the power it hold. I'm sure Oron the Splendor of Baal's favourite. I don't really like the slayer form, it's not as good as my own. <laughs> so, usurper, when I reclaim my rightful place, you'll see the power I hold. Your rightful place is strung above my altar. Carcass fluids flooding into the gutter. Come close, my death's heads, but keep your blades unblooded. Bar demands a jewel. He wants to taste my domination. An altar flowing with his own unwilling flesh. Draining, dying. Drip, drip, drip. The changeling Ooh. stands no chance, fetish one. Eviscerator. The oh, murder I lord's shall. blessing will be mine. Once I peel the skin from your carcass. Yeah, let's do it, bitch. Awesome. So got... Alright, so we've got all the buffs. Minimize this. Okay, so I go first. I don't need this anymore, so we're going to bonus action. Quaff that. Oh, I get both. It's not an elixir. What's this? Oh, right. Invulnerability. It's not permanent invulnerability. Um. Alright, opening move, opening move, opening move. Ah. Might be worth doing actually because it'll slow her down. Go as well as I would have liked. Can't use the mind blast because everyone else is out here now as well. Let's take the attack of opportunity then. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, not that it really matters because I'm still going to have to hit her anyway. I 
That's going to provoke an opportunity attack, but that's okay. I suppose he is a D, but he can't really die. Ah, good work on those glowing eyes, buddy. No, his hat didn't show up in the reflection. that he owns you. Uh, I'm kind of concerned that the Lord of Murder is just going to kill me. And that's going to be game over. Uh, Alright. What gift does the Lord of Murder propose? My slayer. What would you have me do with these gifts? Domination. Ooh. Slaughter. Ooh. Mountains of corpses. Mm. You standing atop them. Ooh. You must destroy this world. It is what you were made for. For a moment, the brine pool of your brain clears. To die. To rest. To save the world from yourself. To accept, to become his prophet, in any disobedience subject to his lash. Hmm. We're going the evil route, so I obey, Father. This world will be eviscerated. My chosen. The Starian approved. Everyone else approved. With evils, warm as father's hate. 
another part of your glimmering birthright for you to abuse as you please. <laughs> Congratulations. Your father smiles upon you. But do not let filial piety distract you from our cause. Orin's Netherstone is in our grasp. And now we must look ahead to the other. Gortash. Seek him out. He is all that stands between us and the Elder Brain. All right. <laughs> Lord Baal's chosen. You must think yourself mighty for it. Yet, you are already mighty. And you would have been mightier still if you defied him and your urges. Eh. Yeah. Orin's Gore Pile. Stud Leather plus two. Mutilated Carapace. Alright. Uh, I want to send this to Astarian. And this one to Astarian. And we're running out of time. There goes my invulnerability, which is fine. Out of my way, fuckers. I'm running this shindig now. Oh, no, that's the exit. Let's see what she's done to my bedroom. Mum stuffed in a uh, a weird chamber. Yeah, Orin's kind of messed up. Guess everyone really is kind of messed up in this place. Okie dokie. Oh, I suppose I'll let Halson. You came for me. Thank you. I feared Orin's accursed smile would be the very last sight I beheld. Every breath in this place reeks of corruption. I will return to camp. The air is cleaner there. If not over, the three. Oh. Where are you going, Helson? That is a cliff. Okie dokie. And with that, we're going to go visit Grandpa Saravok and see what he thinks about this whole situation. Alright. Time to see what... I'm just curious, what is my relationship like with Lazel at the moment? Oh, it's still exceptional. Alright. Proceeding. 
thought maybe it had dropped significantly because of what was going on. Hey, Grandpa Saravok. Guess what I did? I want to have a word. You return, taint-blessed kin killer, having committed the holiest of sins. Your despicable sister lies dead, and your chosen body bathed in her blood. Yep. Ah. He had to bathe this place in yours. It felt wonderful, and you still live after all these years. Genuflect uh, before my divine body, for I am Ball's new chosen. You are so full of promise. The perfect chosen. Uh. I almost hate to bring a challenge upon you. Baal's will is absolute. The strongest of his bloodline will be chosen. A spawn who kills a chosen must then become chosen themselves. Oh, come on. You have done me a great service, child of murder. In eliminating Arin, you have cleared the way for me. I guess that was kind of With expected. With your death, I will prove myself on you. It is father's way. I uh, didn't have a hope in hell's defeating me. It's pure delusion, but I would never anoint you as chosen worm. What a treat. Yes. To arms then in Baal's name. My aching bones in this husk still feel every spark of pain from the crystalline moment of my first death in the temple. Let us die, chosen, as only Baal spawn can. <laughs> that really didn't go well for him. Fuck you, Sarah. Fuck. <laughs> Oh yeah, you like to counter spell? Well, how about I counter spell your shit? Why don't you counter spell my counter spell? Oh, I'm feeling ripped off. <laughs> Hundred nine points. Nothing will stand in my way. I can't even catch my breath. Oh, there we go. on my mind and well in it. Uh, fuck you, Uncle Saravok. Alright. <laughs> uh got me frightened. Map to the bowl temple and the abattoir key. Alright. Sorry, I mean grandpa Saravok. Also oh. fuck you. No, never mind. So with Saravok taken care of, um our next step is Gortash.
So, let us go back to the south span of Worms Crossing. Alright, let's end the day. No one has anything to say? Oh, Helson has something to say. When I first met you, saving yourself from seromorphosis was your greatest wish. And yet now, you've stepped closer to embracing it. <laughs> I trust yeah. your leadership and respect your decisions. But I truly hope this is not something we come to regret. Well, you might. I certainly won't. Yo, Baal has chosen me to conquer all of existence in his name. You'd be wise to bow. Nature bows to none. Oh. It will fight on and survive, no matter what madness your god has inspired you to undertake. Oh man. I've been gifted the slayer of form most evil, you know. Most unnatural. Most foul. Nature is a cycle of life and death, yet this form only serves death. Worse, it only serves murder. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, were you harmed when Arn took you? Just my pride. <laughs> I can't believe I allowed myself to be knocked unconscious and spirited away like that. I can. You kind of shit. Impressive that she managed to move my bulk. Come to think of it, I wonder how that was managed. But in either case, it seems I was insensible for much of my ordeal. Small mercies. Mm. All right. To bed. Here goes nothing. Trading again. So sharp as ever. Non intestines throb. Blood. We... Swift as my feet can climb. My old fishing spot. Spent more than a few summer tide days here. So talk about your fishing spot and get down here, you crazy bastard. Did you ever catch anything? <laughs> Only a few head colds and a tongue lashing from my worried father. Best to make. We've barely started the day. So if we go in this way, and through this door, and then straight around the corner through this door. Shall we dance? Blood comes easy these days. Well, here goes nothing. That'll get us up to the roof. Hungry for the slaughter. A 
trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. All right, before we go in there. No one stopped me yet. Enough time wasted. Battle awaits. We rest. Sharp as ever. Will. Uh, yeah. Let's give you a couple more. Hello, Gortash. I once saw value in our alliance, but you have proven most disloyal. Uh, yeah. Your actions sparked the fall of my steel watch. <laughs> yeah. Whatever bargain we might have made fell with it. Oh, good. Uh, for what it's worth, I always liked you, but this is how it has to be. There is hesitation in his eye for one moment. A passing thought of all times spent together you'll never remember. Is that what you... The brain awakens. It's time I take matters into my own hands. Hey there, sexy. We could have moved mountains. We could have shaken the plains. And you chose imperfection. Mm -hmm. I think I will hang your corpse in the wine. Yeah. The Archduke's would-be assassin. The people will celebrate your fall and my part in it. Your bones will be a souvenir of what could have been. Now, roll over and die. Give up your life just as easily as you are ready will to give Will and Lazel approve of what Gortash just said to me? Alright, what has he got? Uh, resistance to everything. Oh, because he's got the shell of resistance. Alright. Uh, legendary resistance. Just saving throws. Alright, cool. Advantage on saving throws. Dauntless, can't be frightened. Can't be surprised. Alright, cool. To the death. Give him a little nibble. This city is 
And good night, Vortash. There's the other one. <laughs> Shit, that worked. <laughs> Never a dull moment. <laughs> okay, it doesn't actually. Oh, hang on. Now he's got 120. Not gonna work. Oh, good. This is my time. Thanks, Astari. No time to rest. What's hiding here? Oh, I don't have my hat on. Face the elder brain. With the stones in hand and the chosen dead, we stand as good a chance as we ever will. As to how good a chance that is, I cannot say. But I have hope. Cool. Alright then, so how do we get to the morphic pool? The same way one gets to the bounds of anything. The sewers. Uh. When we reach the pool, we will find the brain, and we will end this. In death, thrall them, or freedom. But a word of caution. Once we cross into the Elder Brain's domain, there will be no turning back. Mm. Finish your business here before you proceed. The brain will be waiting for us. Push. Get back in your hole. Alright. 
so yeah, he's got the heavy crossbow. That's actually pretty useful to have the retro reflector guard and the phase optimizer. Grant nearby still watches additional actum action. Railing? Railing Arcana. Alright, cool. Um, uh, cool. So our next stop is going to be the circus. Well, first things first, actually. First stop, we're going to go back to camp. Because we have a clown to deliver. <laughs> With haste. We've got every, ple every piece of the clown except for the hand. And the hand of the clown is in here. So if you come up to the kobold camp, you actually see clown severed hand. <laughs> Mine. Oi! Give that back! It's my special hand! Mm. It's mine now. you got a problem with that. The whole camp is angry at us now. The circus is really dangerous. A few moments later. So hopefully they've calmed down now. Breathe deep and move. There we go. Hey, remember us? You were trying to kill us a few minutes ago. Sorry about Benji. Talk to Lucretius. I'm sure she can uh, pick him back up. He's our. The face makeup is really interesting. Hello, Akabi, you're kind of a dick. Lucretius, Lucretius, hello. Hello again, my vicious little warrior. Any luck finding dribbles? Yep, every part of him. Oh, perfect. Action. This is just what I need. His flesh has a few rat bites and his teeth are missing, but these are minor issues. I shall remake Dribbles better than before, where once he was famous, he will now become legend. And you? Here, darling, a little something from your friend, Lucretius. My circus and I can now finally leave. Uh, so how are you going to get out of the city? It's called magic, darling. Uh, Do keep up. 
Well, pleasure to meet you, Lucretius. You wouldn't happen to be hiring, would you? As much fun as you and I would have on the road, alas, no. I think we both know that you're destined for greater things. Mm, true oh, enough, true and enough. if you do take on the absolute, do try not to end up like poor Dribbles. You are so very pretty after all. Ah, oh, thanks. All right, so we get these cool gloves. Uh, when casting a spell that requires an attack roll, you can take a negative five penalty and deal 1d8 additional damage. So these go to Will. What am I needed? So it's basically a um, keeping pace. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sharpshooter or um, great weapon mask for spell attacks. So there we have it. All right, and with that, free Orpheus, rescue the Grand Duke, free the artist, investigate the suspicious toys. We should talk to Mazora. Oh, where the fuck is Mazora? What have we here? Um. She in Worms Rock. On the other side of Worms Rock. So I spotted her over here the last time. Oh yeah, there she is. She's been waiting for us this entire time. <laughs> Hello, Mizora. Like talk. Poor little Will. Such a tragedy. Your own father, cut down in his prime. Damn shame, if you ask me. Shit. I don't understand it. The blow should have knocked him out. Not killed him. Mizora responds with knowing silence and a wide smile. No, no. This was your doing, wasn't it? You wound me, pup. I admired your father. He was a man of the people, the grandest of dukes. Hard to think he's forever lost to us. Or is he? You're saying Revengard is not gone for good. Damn right he is, and he better stay that way. So what are you getting at? I'm saying that someone stepping off stage doesn't have to mean the end of their story. Meet me in your camp. I've got a devil of a proposal. Ooh. All right. All right. That's that one done. Free Orpheus, free the artist, visit the Emperor's old hideouts. That's... Yeah, whatever. Claiming some useful items, I have to go through and look at the different stuff there. Alright. And we've got Oscar, the, um, the artist. I'm not doing that mission, because that mission sucks. There's a... An area that you come across where uh, Oscar is in a house and he's possessed and there's, the house is filled with ghosts and these things keep turning invisible so everyone in your party needs to see invisibility and on top of that because this building is multi-levered and very confined and this game doesn't really do multiple levels it's an absolute nightmare to get you a way through so quite frankly Oscar can suffer because fuck that guy. Um, all right, we're done. Let's head back to camp. Here she comes. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's a party. Come, sisters, be my testament. No tomb sit in Beator. No tomb sit in Beator. Holy hells. Oh, please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, Arbiters for the Hells, Exemplars of Justice. Oh. Enough, Mizora. My father is dead. Say your peace. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. Uh -huh. Yet no contract is ended without sacrifice, Will. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I raise your father from the dead, and you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father remains dead, and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Mesora, you asshole! Choose. The honestly, the option that I would always go for with thinking about what oh look her foot isn't actually attached to anything that's funny um oh no it's just clipping through a dress but it looks like it's floating anyway um raven guard being will's father wouldn't want will to lose his soul for all of eternity and seeing that he was a follower of helm he's hanging out in helm's domain anyway so Realistically, there's no real choice here. You should always break the pact. So when, when the city's free, you can take his place. Although, I'm going to raise it to the ground, so... <laughs> you damned wretch! Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita, anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. All right. I'd like some time to talk. Let's talk. Um... Oh no, that's it. I'm the chosen of blah 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 blah. By the gone gods. It isn't the blood you've spilled or the lives you've snuffed out that horrify me most. Oh yeah. It's the pride you take in it. Nah. As if you've done all sixteen planes a great favor. Yep. When the absolute falls, I wager our alliance falls with it. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mazora. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. You know, I can't believe Will actually sacrificed his father to save himself. 
Don't be so hard on him. I'm sure he carefully weighed the pros and cons. Yeah, we did. Pro, freedom. No more pact, no more hellbound soul. Con, killing off his own father. Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke, and forever altering the city's future. Oh, well, maybe Monster isn't so far off. <laughs> so I don't get it. Why, if Will's in your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. Ah. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Fair enough. Uh, if you're going to be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what. When the time comes oh. to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Sweet. We've got another ally. All right. And with that, we're going to go to sleep, and that's where we're going to end today's session. Let's see what this does. Yeah, not sure what's going on here. Will wants to talk about something, but he doesn't want to talk about anything. Alright. So, with that, that is where we're going to leave today's session. And the next session will be the finale. I'm going to be taking over or taking out the Elder Brain. Going after the Absolute. So, let's see if I can complete this on a run. Uh, finally, I, I, I'm just dreading getting to that final point and being completely fucked just by something absolutely ridiculous. So, alrighty. So, for now, thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble bard, Tim, and be sure to come back for the next session of Evil Aurora Plays Baldur's Gate. Three. Bye!